Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about my, one of my favorite trips of all time, which is Grumpy Sunshine. This is actually a collab with my lovely, beautiful friend, Sam Samantha over at Books with Samantha. I'll link her channel down below as well as her video. I can't wait to see what books she recommends. I love her so much. Her videos are amazing and she talks about some amazing books. So go check her videos out if you have not yet. I have three previous Grumpy Sunshine Romance Break videos. I'll link them all down below as well if you want even more recommendations after watching Samantha's video. So let's get into these romances. I love these books so much. Like. Grumpy Sunshine Romance is just like pulled something out of me. They make me like kick my feet and giggle. I love them so much. The first one that I have is The Marriage Effect by Carlos Sorensen. This is the romance between Logan and Paige. Logan is a football player and the guardian of his four younger siblings. Then his brother is trying to get custody of his sisters and he doesn't think that he would be a great guardian for them and he's really struggling right now because he he, he wants these girls, he needs these girls in his life and the girls need him. Logan is in the hospital one day because of something that happened to one of his sisters and Paige just so happens to need to talk to him for a second. And the only excuse that she can come up with to talk to Logan is to say that they're married. Technically like his fiance, she says that they're, they're engaged. Um, but same diff, you know? <laughs> and uh, thus starts their fake dating fake fiance, fake engagement relationship because his brother overhears this and it will honestly give him a better standing in the court and the custody battle if he is married and the girls have a mother figure in their life. Logan here is a grumpy grump grump. He is a grumpy dude and Paige is the sunshine. Like she is totally a sunshine and I love her relationship obviously with Logan but also with his sisters, the girls. Like she is so sweet with them and caring with them and wants what's best for them. So yeah, if you want a football grumpy sunshine romance, definitely pick this one up. Make It Sweet by Kristen Callahan is another one that involves sports. The heroine of this book is an actress and she's on a show very similar to Game of Thrones in popularity and subject matter, but her character gets killed off and she doesn't really know what to do now. Like her char like her character was her job, like that was her job. And since the character has been killed off, she's like feeling lost. And someone recommends that she takes a little vacation to decompress, relax a little bit before trying to figure out the rest of her life. So she does just that. She books like a room, um, like a little cabana room, um, not cabana, like a little room <laughs> on this estate where they sell out like cabins and stuff. The owner of the property sends her grandson to go pick up Emma from the airport. His name is Lucian and they don't necessarily get off on the right foot. Um, he sees like all of her luggage and how beautiful he is, how beautiful she is and um, thinks kind of like the worst of her. He thinks that she's some snooty stuck up girl when in actuality she is not. She's the sweetest ever. Things change a little bit on their like hour long, more than hour, many hour car ride back to the estate that she's gonna be staying at. Um, he ends up getting one of his very bad chronic migraines. He played hockey, but he got in too many injuries to a point where he's not able to play anymore. And he has chronic migraines because of that and she takes over, she can tell that he is in a lot of pain. And so she takes over the drive and things kind of shift a little bit in that conversation, but he's still a grump after that point. Still, like he's still grumpy, okay? He's like, thinks she's a little bit cooler now that she did that for him. There are a lot of forced proximity situation in here and metal some family members with his grandmother. His grandmother like wants them to get together so badly. <laughs> and also Lucian is a baker, he bakes and it's so stinking cute. Oh, it's so cute. And I wanted to eat everything that he made. Like. Please. Next of Kin by Hannah Bonham Young is another one that I adore. Um, Warren in here, who he is a grumpy dude. Grumpy, grumpy, grumpy. Chloe in this book is our heroine and she is a ray of sunshine. She is so sweet and caring and kind and wears her heart on her sleeve. And she finds out that her birth mother recently gave birth to another child um, and she is not fit to take care of the baby. And so Chloe needs to and wants to adopt her infant baby sister, Willow. There is a little bit of a problem though, um, is that she might not be able to get custody because she's not in the best financial situation, um, but the agency basically tells her like, hey, um, there is this guy who's in a similar situation to you. Um, he wants custody of his brother. He's financially stable. He just doesn't have 
a place to live that meets like the, the requirements that we need in order for him to adopt him. So how about y'all team up together and take this on together to benefit each other. So Warren, the hero, ends up moving in with Chloe because she has a few rooms in her place and Warren will chip in with rent and other things to help Chloe financially. So the two of them are trying to get custody of their respective siblings. Warren ends up bringing his 14 year old brother with him who is deaf and Chloe also known si knows sign, which is awesome. So they're able to communicate. But Warren in here is definitely like buzz cut, grumpy, broody dude. Like <laughs> he's also a mechanic. He owns a mechanic shop with his best friend. Um, and I just, I love this book so much. I do, I love it. And I love the incorporation of like found family and like loving each other. Like these two love each other so much and their siblings. Next is a staple, A Twist of Love by Anna Huang. This one's about Alex and Ava. <laughs> so Ava in here, her brother is uh, going to another country for his degree. I'm pretty sure he's studying to be a doctor and he's going overseas to do some work in the doctor field. And her brother tells his best friend, Alex, like, hey, can you maybe just like watch over my sister, make sure she's safe while I'm gone, just keep an eye out. And Alex is like, okay, I'm gonna commit to this. So he ends up moving in to his friend's house, which happens to be right next door to where Ava lives. And she's like pissed. She's like, are you joking? Like I have a babysitter, I'm 21. Is she the 21 or 22? I don't know. She's in her early 20s. She's like, I don't need a babysitter. Are you joking? Um, but Alex cannot help himself. He is a broody dude. Broody guy, broody guy. And Ava wants to get under his skin. Like that is her main goal right now is to get under that skin and see what makes him tick. And like her ultimate goal is to make him smile. Like she wants to pull an emotion out of him because he is so stoic and straight faced. And she wants, she wants something, get something out of him, get something out of him. And man, does she do that. But not the way that she expects, cause he starts smiling for her. Cause um, he's falling for her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, yeah, this one is really fun. If you want a little bit darker, hotter, contemporary read, definitely pick this one up in the rest of the series. This one's on a lot of people's grumpy sunshine but it's Heartless by Elsie Silver. I love this one. It's a single dad nanny romance between Cade and Willa. Cade needs a nanny for his six-year-old son. Enter Willa, who is his brother's fiance's best friend. And she's not the most conventional nanny, if you will. She's actually never been a nanny before, um, but she is able to talk to Cade's son in such a real way. And his son really likes her. So he's like, fine. I will hire her as long as you take care of my son, like it's fine. Um, but then he's also very attracted to her. So there's like a little element here where Kay doesn't want to be attracted to Willa because he's her boss and he doesn't want to toe that line or make it inappropriate. So he's trying to keep his distance, but Willa just like is so optimistic about everything in life and sees something in Cade and his little family. And it's so beautiful. Like I love this grumpy sunshine dynamic. Cade is so grumpy, he's so grumpy. And Willa is the total opposite, but they love each other regardless. Like they love each other because of those aspects that they have, the characteristics that they have. And, oh, it's beautiful. I love this book. It's one of my favorite books of the year for a reason. Next is Landon and Shay by Brittany Cherry. This is actually a duet. I'll talk about the first book, the first book part one. Um, starts out with Landon and Shay in high school. Um, they actually are in the same friend group, but everyone knows that they don't get along. Like they don't like each other. They're not going to sit next to each other. They're not going to be with each other. They don't like each other. Landon and Shay don't like each other. Landon is the grumpy one in this situation. <laughs> um, he experienced some familial death recently and um, it's kind of dampened his mood and um, some very dangerous thoughts are worrying in his head. Um, and during his, one of his very vulnerable moments, Shay ended up actually walking in on him. He has never like been the same since. He thinks that Shay's gonna go and blabber at, like what she saw to everyone else. And she's not the type of person he's realizing. And he, he, he's been waiting this whole time for the shoe to drop for her to tell people what happened, um, but she hasn't. Like she's kept what happened like to her chest, like in her heart without anyone else knowing. Landon's a little bit confused. He's like, why isn't she telling anybody? Cause he's experienced a lot of betrayal in his life from other people. 
and Shay is not like that at all. She is so sweet and kind and generous. Um, she wants to be a writer, a playwright when she gets older. Her priorities are definitely different than Landon's. But anyways, uh, Landon makes a bet with a guy in their friend group, basically saying like, oh, I bet I can make Shay fall in love with me. It's gonna be no problem. Shay overhears this and basically tells Landon, okay, bet, um, I'll bet you that you'll fall in love with me first. And the two of them <laughs> are trying to make the other person fall in love with them, but things get a little bit off the rails when they both start falling for each other. They did not plan on that happening. It's a pretty cherry book. You're gonna get emotions in here, um, but the grumpy sunshine aspect is fantastic in this one. If you love the Great British Baking Show, you gotta read Battle Royal by Lucy Parker. This one was really cute. We have like an older couple. I think they're in their late 30s, early 40s, because normally romance books are about people in their late teens, early 20s. Um, So if you want like an older couple compared to other books, you should definitely put this one up. Like he even has graying hair on the cover. Like you never get to see that in on romance covers. But anyway, um, the hero of this book and the heroine, they end up meeting when she is a contestant on a show that is basically like the Great British Baking Show. He's one of the judges and one of her creations like explodes on him and the, the scene goes viral online. And um, ever since then, she didn't win the show, but she now, because of the publicity that she gained from that show, owns her own bakery that happens to be across the street from his actual bakery. So this is his bakery over here and this is hers. And they are very, very different. This is also opposites attract. He is very neat, straight laced, pristine, white, like very clean baker. Sorry, my Siri is going off. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes I say words that are similar to her name and she thinks I'm talking to her. Anyway, <laughs> uh, and she is very much like the fun, colorful, sprinkles, glitter type of baker. And they don't really like each other. <laughs> But the two of them really want to be the person who makes the royal wedding cake. So the princess just announced her engagement um, and they want to be the ones to make the wedding cake. And so the two of them are in the running to make the cake and they have to perform certain tasks and challenges in order to make this cake. And they have to spend time together to do these things and they end up actually falling in love with each other. And so I adore this one. It made me so hungry, but it was so cute. If you want a historical, I have The Temptation of a Highlander by Elisa Braden. This is about Wallflower Clarissa and Campbell McPherson. Campbell is crushing hardcore on Clarissa, but he thinks like he can't ever have her because she is a lady and he's like this Scottish roguish dude. And he's like, she would never want me and I don't want to soil, soil her, if you will. Like that's what he thinks. Um, but then um, there's this guy who used to be in love with Clarissa, who's basically like stalking her and he wants to keep, her, like Campbell wants to keep her safe. Like, and so does um, his family. So he comes up with this plan to bring Clarissa to this cabin in the middle of nowhere and keep her safe there while her family basically deals with this threat. Um, and through their forced proximity, staying in this cabin together, things happen between the two of them. Campbell is very broody and like straight faced and, um, doesn't want to show his feelings to Clarissa while she is a chatterbox like babbler um, and she has this huge unrequited crush on Campbell or so she thinks and so she's just babbling all day long and Campbell inside of his brain is like swooning over this woman and it is so cute. I love Lisa Brand's writing and this is the latest book out in the series so I can't wait till she writes more in it. If you want a monster romance, I have Captured by the Orc General by Charlotte Swan. I was actually a beta reader for this book and look at how stunning this cover is. I love it. Um, so yeah, fantasy, monster, romance. The heroine in here is tasked to uh, go to the Orc lands to uh, find her brother. She needs to find her brother. Her brother was captured by Orcs a few years ago and she's been trying to find him ever since. So she decides to go into their lands and she ends up in one of these orc traps and um, it's like dangling there. And our hero here ends up finding her and bringing her back to his village with him. And they end up falling for each other even though they should not do so. <laughs> like they shouldn't do so. It's a fun, hot read. Like it's, whew, it's good, it's good. The hero, grumpity grump, grump, grump. Okay, heroine, you can tell by the pink hair, like she is a total sunshine of a character, so. And lastly, I have When She's Weary by Ruby Dixon. This is a little novella. Um, and this is our only book in here where the heroine is the grump and the hero is the sunshine. The hero ends up meeting the heroine for the first time by like knocking on her door and wanting to get to know her. And um, she ends up shocking him with a taser. <laughs> 
She was previously an alien slave and she has a lot of PTSD around aliens. He is an alien Praxian guy and so she was very scared. She has a lot of like alarms and booby traps around her house because she doesn't want to be taken ever again. He just thinks this woman is everything. He's like, oh my gosh, this woman is so strong and capable. Like she took me down. Like I want her, like she's going to be mine. So he slowly, very slowly and respectfully starts courting her at a distance and then slowly starts getting closer because he actually like wants her. The heroine is very slow at first and a little bit standoffish because of what she's experienced, but um, she can't help but fall for this absolutely like golden retriever of an alien dude. Like <laughs> it's really cute. Anyway, so we have it. Those were 10 Grumpy Sunshine Romance recommendations for you. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And also be sure to go check out Samantha's video. I can't wait to see what she recommends. I love her so much. So please go watch her video. Um, and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any pink emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.